Hello, welcome to this video. We're going to do some questions on waves uh, for the AS physics uh, syllabus. Um, the f uh, this one's going to be based on questions for wave speeds. Okay, uh, mainly uh, wave speeds questions have to do with this equation that you should have seen in the, in the textbook already where the velocity of a wave is uh, equal to the square root of the tension applied to the rope, this is with mechanical waves uh, divided by mu which is the mass per unit length so mu has uh, units of kilograms meters to the minus one so that's the equivalent of the idea of density but this is for uh, something that has a length and doesn't have a, a volume and tension is obviously in newtons okay and so let's get on with the first question um, it says uh, there is a transverse wave seen to travel along a length of cotton thread stretched to a tension of 1.5 newtons so the question says that the tension of our thread is 1.5 newtons and the wave travels at a speed of 60 meters per second and the question asks calculate the mass of 100 meters of the thread so what is one uh, the mass of a length of 100 meters of this uh, cotton thread and so we have to use that equation and the information they give us to to get the answer um, Okay, so let's get started. Should be quite simple. So um, they give us V, right, and they give us T, and they're asking us for M. And uh, we said that uh, mu was mass per unit length. So another, in other words, the formula for mu you could see it as mass divided by the length. And the question is asking us for the mass, and they give us a particular length. So really, we want to find this guy. So let's move the equation around to uh, to leave it in terms of mu first, and then we can do the next part. Okay, how do we manipulate this equation? Well, there's a square root here, and so we can square both sides of the equation. We don't worry too much about creating extra solutions um, in this case, and so we end up with t over mu. It's equal to v squared. So now we bring the mu up, so we have mu times v squared is equal to t. I'm multiplying mu, both sides of the equation by mu. And uh, finally, mu is equal to t divided by v squared. Right, and we still haven't finished because uh, the question actually asks us for m, not for mu. So uh, mu is the same thing as m over l, so therefore the mass will be this times l if we multiply both sides of the equation by by L. So let's continue over here. Um, then the mass therefore would be the tension which is 1.5. I always put the numbers at the last point times the length which is 100 meters. I always put them in brackets because I don't like using x's for times. And then divided by v squared. v is 60 so this is divided by v squared. Okay, uh, so if we do this in the calculator, we get 0 0.042 kilograms, which is, uh, we move the decimal place three times and we get 42 grams for the mass of 100 meters of cotton thread, which more or less makes sense because cotton is very light, so 100 meters of cotton thread won't, uh, won't be 4 kilos or anything like that. 42 grams makes sense. Uh, 420 grams would also be a bit too much. So anyway, always ma make sure that it looks like a sensible thing at the end. All right, so that's the first question. Uh, so we need to know a little bit of algebra, how to manipulate this. And we need to know that if we want to move things that are in a square root, you square them so that you can then get rid of the square root. And uh, you, for this question, you also needed to know this, the meaning of mu was uh, the unit the mass per unit length so we can see the velocity really depends on the tension the by the bigger the tension the bigger the velocity and the lower this the bigger the velocity so the lower the density 
the mass per unit length of the rope, the bigger the velocity, which makes sense if you imagine a really heavy, uh, very massive uh, rope, then the velocity of the wave for the same tension would be lower. Okay, so that's the first question I wanted to have a look at. The second one is 21 points. Twenty-one point eleven. So that's just the next one. Twenty-one point eleven. And the uh, question says, the speed of longitudinal waves in steel. So the speed of longitudinal waves in steel is five thousand one hundred meters per second. So that's very very high. Um, compared with well, if this was sound waves and. Uh, it's very very f high compared with uh, with the sound waves in the air, and then um, they tell us that uh, 20 meters of steel wire. So they give us a length, 20 meters of steel wire, of diameter diameter 0.42 millimeters, has a mass of 22 grams. It says calculate the stress applied to the steel. So the stress, if you remember from your previous exam, you should know that the stress is equal to the force divided by area, which uh, would have units of newtons per meter squared or pascals. This is a little bit of revision. So how do we find this? Well, we need to know the force and the area. The area we can find easily because the diameter we know, and the force we can find because we need the tension, and we know the formula relating all of this stuff to the tension. So we leave the area for later, but let's first find the force then. The force uh, would uh, the equation for the force would be this: uh, v is equal to the root of t over mu, where t is the force. So let's see. Uh, we want to leave this in terms of t. So let's square both sides, and we get the v squared u squared. Sorry, it's a mistake. We square both sides, we get. I'll do it in steps v squared is equal to t over mu. Now we want to bring the mu up, so we have mu times v squared is equal to t. right? And mu is the mass over the length. So actually mu, so we, can, we can just write this, mu at mass of the length times v squared is equal to t. Okay. Um, good, so now we can find t. So what's t? It's the mass divided by the length, so that's 22 grams. Let's make sure we put it in kilograms to the minus 3, divided by the length, which is 0 0.42 millimeters. 42 millimeters is also to the minus 3. So that's the mass of the length. And then the velocity squared. Velocity is 5,100. So this times 5,100 squared is going to equal the force that I, the tension that I need to apply in order to create that wave. So let's do this in the calculator and we get a tension of 28,611 newtons it's a very big uh, force and if you now get this force and you divide it by the area which is the diameter which is the area of that well how do we find the area um, let's change color why not the area is equal to the diameter divided by 2, which is the radius, times pi, and that's squared, pi r squared, right? So the diameter is 0 0.42 millimeters. I'm sorry, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, well, the, the this is still correct, as I calculated it before, but the length here, the length that I should have used, I hope you realize you saw me made the mistake when I did it, wasn't uh, 42 grams, that's the mass. That's the diameter, sorry, and I did it with a strange letter, so it looked a bit like an L, but this is a D. And so the length I should have used was 20 meters. So if you do it with 20, you should get the same answer, as I've written here, so that doesn't change, sorry. This is 20 meters. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. Sorry about that. And 
so now here we do on the D we do on the 0 0.42 millimeters so let's let's do that so we have 0 0.42 times 10 to the minus 3 meters uh, divided by 2 that's our radius and we square it and we multiply by pi and we get the area okay when we, when we get the area we divide the force divided by the area as the formula for the stress and we end up with the stress equaling 2 times 10 to the 11 pascals or newtons per meter squared for the stress so that's a nice question because it relates waves with with uh, a bit of materials and the ref refreshment for the formula for stress and I wanted to do a third question in this uh, video but I'm not going to have time to do the one I wanted to do which is a bit long yeah okay so I'll do a, another video for that one so a recap for this one um, this equation we need to know for the test is really important so the velocity as a function of the force that you're applying to tense the rope on which it is traveling and the mass of the every meter of the rope that you're using hopefully that equation makes a lot of sense and the um, algebra that I've used isn't too complicated to go from here to here just by squaring both sides should be alright to you no normally in maths when we square things we're very careful because the answer could be then positive or negative uh, when you square things because uh, well minus 3 and 3 they both give you 9 so when you're squaring uh, something you might be going from here to now here and now you actually have two different answers possible well actually before you came only from one place now you have two answers possible after you squared so you kind of create extra solutions when you do that in maths and so in physics also but in this case we don't care so much because we're only looking for one solution anyway and we're not going to get a negative mass or a you know two alternative masses um, so hopefully that makes sense now excuse my voice today I'm a little bit um, clogged in the nose um, okay and this one with the stress for the stress over strain I hope you remember the Young's modulus which had a stress is force over area and strain um, had uh, the ratio of the length over the total uh, the, the change in length over the total length but this question didn't give us changes in length or anything um, and I can't remember the symbol for strain this was E is equal to over E I think one was that E and the other one was that E. Anyway, um, all right. So see you in the next video. Ciao.